bots, cons, and puzzlers, and welcome to Transform Speed Challenge number 69, featuring the female Autobots. I'm your host, Mar Omega. Finally, 30 years into the existence of my favorite franchise, the Transformers, we got some G1 females and a new female character who was inserted into many of the G1 continuities. But their five female compatriots from Season 2, Episode 53 of the original cartoon, The Search for Alpha Trion, would not begin to have action figures until the Power of the Primes toy line in late 2017 through the War for Cybertron Siege toy line. But not only did they have figures, they were a combiner. At first, there was just the notion that she had a larger version of Alita 1's head, calling the combiner Alita Infinite with a 1 instead of an I in there somewhere. I was thrilled to find out that they would give her the name associated with the goddess Artemis or, or Thea of Greek mythology. Coincidentally, over a year earlier I had named my own daughter Artemis after the same goddess of the hunt and protector of children. According to Hasbro, in her backstory she was one of the first combiners, the first female in fact, dethroning Victoria. The four appendage girls are retools from the same mold, and Alita 1 shares a mold with Power of the Primes Starscream. I refuse to call her a retool of Starscream, I prefer to believe he is the retool. The new Earthrise Alita 1 looks like she will fit in better with the other girls, but since she is a retool of the Shell Former RC, I am hard pressed to drop any money on her. She just doesn't transform. If I do get her, I'll keep her in bot form and treat her like a G.I. Joe. No challenge for that Alita 1. If you can't make Orthea stand on her own, there will be no time penalty when she is assembled. In the scramble swap section, it is not counted towards the grand total time unless there is a tiebreaker required. And now that I've given you the rundown, it's time to commence challenge number 69 with the Fembots of Cybertron.
That was fun. I always love playing with the ladies. Give me a thumbs up if you love the female Autobots. Give me a thumbs down if you're a fanboy. For the combiner challenges, I want to reiterate, you don't have to have a master's degree in Photoshop and After Effects and make a five-way split screen. I happen to work in television, so this is the sort of thing that I do. You can submit one character at a time, make an hour-long linear video, or send your videos to me and I'll do all the polished work for you. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, if you have a button you'd like to challenge this on, let me know. If I have it, I'll make a challenge out of it. If I don't, feel free to send us a video of you doing it anyway, and I'll make you the host for the day. Also, be sure to send us a video of your fastest time transforming this or any of our other challenges, and we'll put you on the leaderboard. If you beat the fastest recorded champion, you are the fastest recorded in the world. Until next time, or until all are one.